University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, it's a Scotland-England fixture tonight as two ancient institutions do battle for a place in the second round of this almost as venerable competition. St Andrews is Scotland's oldest university and the third oldest in the UK. As the seat of a bishopric and monastery, it was an obvious location in the early 15th century for a university for students who had otherwise been forced to go abroad to pursue their studies. It's a traditionally minded place where academic gowns count as avant-garde fashion and their idea of a good time is the annual May dip and a raucous bacchanal weekend called Raisin Weekend. Alumni include the discoverer of logarithms, John Napier, the pioneer of the smallpox vaccine, Edward Jenner, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the politician Alex Salmond, and the TV presenter Hazel Irvin. With an average age of 25, with a student population of around 11,000, let's meet the St Andrews team. Hello, my name is Ewan Grant, I'm from Edinburgh, and I'm reading for a doctorate in divinity. Hi, I'm Christina Fell, I'm from Coventry, and I'm studying for a PhD in statistics. And this is their captain. Howdy, my name is George Davies, I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm studying ancient history and archaeology. Hi, I'm Matthew Layton, I'm from Hereford, and I'm studying history. Now, the team from St John's College, Cambridge, represent an institution founded in 1511 by Lady Margaret Beaufort, mother of Henry VII. Its buildings include a chapel designed by Sir George Gilbert Scott in the 1860s and Henry Hutchinson's Bridge of Sighs, built in 1831 across the River Cam between the college's Third Court and New Court. Alumni include the poet William Wordsworth, the abolitionist William Wilberforce, the physicist Paul Dirac and the darts commentator Sid Waddell. With an average age of 23 and representing around 870 students, let's meet the St John's team. Hi, I'm John Clark Levin. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm studying for a PhD in politics and international studies. Hello, I'm Rosie McKeown. I'm from Kingston upon Thames in southwest London, and I'm studying French and German. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm James Devine Stoneman from Southall in West London, studying for a PhD in superconducting spintronics. Hi, I'm Matt Hazel from Ringwood in Hampshire, and I'm studying veterinary medicine. OK, the rules never change on this programme. The starter questions are worth 10 points. You have to answer those on the buzzer. Bonuses are worth 15 points. They're team efforts. Right, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. What given name links the Prime Minister, who died four months after taking office in 1820? St John's Divine Stoneman. George. George is correct, yes. George Canning was the, the Prime Minister in question. You get a set of bonuses on the works of Francois Truffaut. What title did Truffaut give to his first full-length feature film, a semi-autobiographical story of a young delinquent? It won him the Best Director Prize at the Cannes Film Festival in 1959. 400 Blows? 50, yeah. Nominate Levin. The 400 Blows? It was Les Quatre Sans Coups. What was both Truffaut's first film in colour and the only film he directed with a screenplay in English? It was an adaptation of a novel of 1953 by Ray Bradbury. Fahrenheit 451? Correct. Which 1980 film by Truffaut stars Catherine Deneuve as an actress in occupied Paris? The title refers to the means by which many Parisians returned home before the Nazi curfew. The Last Metro. It was The Last Metro, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Alice Blackwell, the heroine of Curtis Sittenfield's 2008 novel, The American Wife, is a fictionalised version of which former first lady? Born in Texas, she worked as a teacher and a school librarian ah. until her marriage... St John's Levin. Laura Bush. Laura Bush is right. <laughs> These bonuses are on Islamic art, St John's. Since the 16th century, what general name has been given to a style of pattern common in Islamic art and textiles, usually combining intertwining plants and abstract curvilinear motifs. Arabesque? Mm. I've got nothing better. better. <clears throat> yeah. Arabesque? Correct. The two so-called Ardabil carpets, one of which is held by the Victoria and Albert Museum, 
were produced during which dynasty that ruled Persia between 1501 and 1722? Is that the late Umayyads? Not sure. Mm. Um, that's, could be. Safavid? Safavid. I don't think it's a Safavid. Um, the Umayyads? No, it's the Safavid dynasty. Oh. Born in 1497, which German painter gives his name to a style of Persian carpet characterized by arabesques and octagonal motifs. These appear in several of his portraits of aristocratic figures. Oh, it's going to be Holbein. Holbein the Younger. Um, Holbein the Younger. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What letter of the alphabet links in physiology a lymphocyte that matures in the bone marrow and secretes antibodies in physics? St Andrews Davies. B. B is correct, yes. <laughs> So your first set of bonuses, St Andrews, are on physics. In a nuclear fission reactor, the incidence of what type of emitted subatomic particle causes the nuclear fuel to undergo a fission chain reaction? Gamma radiation. No, it's subatomic, so it's like uh, an electron. An electron? electron? An electron? No, it's a neutron. What term describes the substance used to slow neutrons to speeds at which they cause fission more efficiently? Control. Uh, control. Okay. Control. control rods? No, they're moderators. Okay. In a fast breeder reactor, fast neutrons are absorbed by a blanket of uranium-238 to generate what isotope it can be used as a nuclear fuel? Okay. Uh, uranium-235. No, it's plutonium-239. Right. Ten points for this. A mysterious character created by Agatha Christie who solves crimes with Mr. Satterthwaite and an accomplice of the Joker in DC Comics both have names based on that of which character of... St. Andrew's Grant. Harlequin. Harlequin is correct. <laughs> Media dell'arte. And your bonuses are on women whose tombs are in Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. In each case, name the person from the description. Firstly, an American writer whose Paris home was a salon for artists and writers between the world wars. With her brother Leo, she was one of the first collectors of works by Brack, Picasso and Matisse. Being an American author of the 1930s, um, no idea. Like Cather, Willa Cather? I'll go with that. Willa Cather. No, it was Gertrude Stein. Secondly, born around 1098, a French nun and abbess who was the wife of the theologian and philosopher Peter Abelard. Whether the tomb contains her remains is disputed. Nominate Grant. Heloise. Heloise is correct. And finally, a French singer and actress who rose to international fame in the late 1930s, nicknamed the Little Sparrow. Her recordings yeah. include Non, Je ne regrette rien yeah. and yeah, La yeah, Vie yeah, yeah. en Rose. Yeah. Edith Piaf. Edith Piaf is right. Right, we're going to take a picture around now. For your picture start, you'll see a representation of the widest extent of an empire of the second millennium of the current era. For ten points, simply name the empire. St Andrews Davies. Ottoman. That is correct. So for your pictures bonuses, three more maps showing empires of the second millennium of the common era. Name the empire in each case. Here's the first. Uh, like... Uh, um, Khmeris? Yeah, or Siam. I, I go with Siam, actually. I think that's more like it. Siam? No, that's the Khmer uh, Empire. Okay, sorry. Secondly, yeah. which Chinese dynasty is this? The Qing. Qing. If it's, it's got Manchuria. Qing. Qing is right. And finally, this empire. Uh, or was that the um, Mughal? Mughal. Yeah, the Mughal. Mughal. Oh, it's, it's the second century. Yeah. yeah, Mughal. That is the Mughal Empire. Yeah. Ten points for this. In a speech at City University Business School in 1987, which entrepreneur said, "Pan Am takes good care of you. Marks and Spencer loves you. Securicor cares. IBM say the customer is king. At Amstrad, we want your money." St John's Hazel. Sir Alan Sugar. Yes, it was Alan Sugar, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses having retaken the lead, St John's, on hydrocarbons, including methane and butane. The members of which series of saturated hydrocarbons have the general formula CnH2n plus 2? 
Alkanes. 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 Correct. Which alkane is a gas with the formula C3H8? It's easily liquefied and, along with butane, is a major constituent of liquefied petroleum gas. Propane. Correct. Which volatile liquid alkane has the formula C8H18? Octane. Octane is correct. Ten points for this. According to Graham's law of effusion, at a given pressure and temperature, the rate of escape of a gas through a small aperture is inversely proportional to what function of its molar mass? St John's Divine Stoneman. Square root. Square root is right. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the year 1867. Firstly, for five points, the Treaty of London in 1867 resolved an international crisis over which fortress city? Known as the Gibraltar of the North, it had been a member of the German Confederation. Mm. Konigsberg? Possibly. Konigsberg. No, it's Luxembourg. The crisis arose when the ruler of which country tried to sell Luxembourg to Napoleon III for five million florins? Belgium? No, it was the Netherlands, King William III. By the Treaty of London, Luxembourg became a neutral, independent state. Which statesman agreed to withdraw his country's troops from the city? Anything? No. Uh, pass. It was Bismarck. Ten points for this. What seven-letter name links the Scottish council area, formerly known as Haddingtonshire, an 1818 novel by Sir Walter Scott, and a question on devolved... Ah. St John's Divine Sternman. Ivanhoe? No, you lose five points. And a St Andrew's Grant. Lothian. Lothian is correct, yes. <laughs> you have to hear the rest of the question. Right, your bonuses are on ghost stories, St Andrew's. The ghost of a Hessian horseman rides through the village of Sleepy Hollow... In the short story of 1820, by which US author? Oh, um, what's his name? No, 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 no. What's from Irving, Washington? No, 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 that's all right. Um, what did he write? Uh, I guess a... I don't know. Did he write Rip Van Winkle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Ir Irving. Washington Irving is yeah. right. Well done. Finally, the ghost of Sir Simon de Canterville fails to unnerve the Otis family who move into his stately home in the story first published in 1887 by which author? Is the turn of the screw? Well, Sorry, Henry James. James. Yeah. yeah. Henry James. No, it's Oscar Wilde. Yeah. And finally, the novelist Charles Condamine is haunted by the ghost of his first wife, Elvira, in a 1941 play by which writer, actor, and director? Mm. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Is he an actor? Yeah, he, yeah, he, he was in his film. Okay. Hitchcock. No, it's Noel Coward in Blythe Spirit. Okay. Ten points for this. What short first name links the title characters of novels published in 1816 and 1857? The former deals with youthful... St John's McKeon. Emma. Emma is correct, yes. <laughs> St John's, your bonuses are on electricity. In a wire of resistance R, length L and cross-sectional area A, carrying an electrical current, what name is given to the quantity given by R times A divided by L. So, so R times A divided Resistivity. Yeah. Yeah. Times A. Yeah. Resistivity? Correct. What quantity is obtained as the reciprocal of the resistivity of an electrical system? Conductivity. Yeah. Conductivity. Correct. Used to measure electrical conductance, which SI unit is the reciprocal of the ohm? Oh, is that awesome. Siemens or Mohs? It's reciprocal. It says Mohs, I think. It's reciprocal. Yeah, Mohs. That's the Siemens. Oh, right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. For ten points, please give me the name of the German composer. St John's McEwan. Mendelssohn. It is Mendelssohn's fourth, yes. It's Italian Symphony. Your music bonuses are extracts from three more 
symphonies in the key of A major, in each case simply name the composer. First, the Russian composer of this 1971 symphony. Shostakovich. Correct. Secondly, this Austrian composer. Mahler. No, that's Bruckner. And finally, this German composer. Beethoven. It is Beethoven, his seventh. <laughs> right, ten points for this. In 1810, which English scientist wrote, there must be some point beyond which we cannot go in the division of matter? I have chosen the word atom to signify these ah, ultimate... St John's Divine Stoman. Dalton. John Dalton is right. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on film adaptations of Shakespeare's plays. Firstly, Rafe Fiennes directed and played the title role in a 2011 version of which tragedy? Filmed in Serbia and given a contemporary setting, the cast included Vanessa Redgrave and Gerard Butler. Coriolanus. Correct. In 2000, Kenneth Branagh directed and starred in a version of which play? Much of the text was replaced by the songs of Cole Porter, Irving Berlin and George Gershwin. Mm -hmm. Would you like it? Could be. Yeah. Any ideas? As you like it. No, it was Love's Labour's Lost. And finally, directed by Justin Kurzel and shot in the UK, which 2015 film starred Michael Fassbender in the title role with Marion Cotillard as his wife? No, it's Macbeth. Macbeth. Correct. Ten points for this. Which US state is the only one from which waters flow to the Gulf of Mexico, the Pacific Ocean, and the Hudson Bay. In area, it is the fourth largest state. St John's Levin. Montana. Correct. <laughs> you get bonuses on French client states during the Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. Jerome Bonaparte ruled which French client kingdom from 1807? Its name appears in that of the present-day German state whose capital is Dusseldorf. Rhineland. Oh, Rhineland. The Rhineland. Rhineland and Westphalia. Go for the Rhineland. The Rhineland? No, it's Westphalia. After a Germanic people mentioned by Caesar and Tacitus, what name was given to the Republic proclaimed in Amsterdam in 1795? Nominate Levin. Batavian. Batavian is correct. Formed by Napoleon in 1797, the Cisalpine Republic consisted largely of territory in which present-day country? Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. I would have said Italy. Italy. Cisalpine. Right. Yeah, okay. Italy. Correct. Yeah. Ten points for this. Answer promptly if you buzz. Uh, what multiple of ten is the only integer that, when written as a word in English, has its letters in alphabetical ah. order? St John's Hazel. Forty. Forty is correct. Know that, or do you just work it out? Guess I worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> right, your bonuses are on people born in Herefordshire. In each case, give the surname of the person described. Firstly, born in Hereford in 1717, an actor and stage manager, noted for his work in reforming the Drury Lane Theatre. He gives his name to a London gentleman's club founded in 1831. Garrick. Garrick. Yes. Garrick. David Garrick is right. Born in Hereford in 1855, the author of early British trackways, which introduced the disputed hypothesis of ley lines. Anything? Pass. That was Alfred Watkins. And finally, born in Ledbury in 1878, the poet laureate whose works include Gallipoli and Widow in the By Street. So writing, uh, Macefield. Uh, Macefield? It is John Macefield, yes. Ten points for this. <laughs> a form of the expression trip the light fantastic appears in the 1649 work L'Allegro by which English poet? St John's McEwan. Milton. Milton is right. You get a set of bonuses. 
On information technology, in each case, give the full form of the following acronyms and abbreviations. Firstly, for five points, PDF. Portable document formats. Correct. Secondly, URL. Universal, Universal resource locator. Universal resource locator. No, it's uniform resource locator. Oh, and finally, HTML. Hypertext markup language. Correct. We're going to take a second picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of a poet. Ten points if you can give me his name. St John's Levin. Uh, Robert Frost. It is Robert Frost, yes. <laughs> he is uh, one of only two people to have won four Pulitzer Prizes. Your bonuses are three more people who won multiple Pulitzers. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, this playwright, the other four-time winner. Mm. Lucy Williams? Any idea? Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. Tennessee Williams? No, that's Eugene O'Neill. Secondly, this composer who won Pulitzer's twice. Mm. Composer, Copeland? Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's Gershwin. Gershwin, could be Gershwin. Try Copeland. Copeland. No, it's Samuel Barber. Finally, this author who won two Pulitzers. Steinbeck? No. No. Don't know. Pass. That's William Faulkner. Ten points for this. In human physiology, what is the common name for the secretion of the lacrimal glands? St Andrew's fell. Tears. Correct. <laughs> Three questions on biblical figures who doubted for your bonuses. In the book of Genesis, of which 90-year-old did God say, why did she laugh and say, will I really have a child now that I'm old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah's correct. Which of the biblical judges doubted his ability to lead his tribe against the Midianites and challenged God to provide a series of miracles before he agreed to do so? Um, it's not Daniel, it's not um, uh, who is met at the tent. Um, the Pass. <laughs> it's Gideon. Yeah. You'll be kicking yourself all night. What name meaning twin was also used of the Apostle Thomas who doubted the resurrection of Jesus? Didymus. Nominate Grant. Didymus. Didymus is right. <laughs> Ten points for this. Allopatric and sympatric are adjectives that describe alternative forms of which process? St Andrew's Davies. Speciation. Speciation is right. You get a set of bonuses <laughs> on an author, St Andrew's. Emma Tennant's felony, David Lodge's author, author, and Colm Tobin's The Master are all works about which American novelist? Uh, I don't know. Scott Fitzgerald, I think. Fitzgerald. No, it's Henry James. Which poet wrote the poem At the Grave of Henry James following a visit to the author's burial place in the early 1940s? Any idea? Betjeman. Betjeman? No, it was Auden, W.H. Auden. Based on the stories by Henry James, the operas Owen Wingrave and The Turn of the Screw were written by which composer? That's Britain. Britain. Benjamin Britain is right. Four minutes to go, ten points for this. The US artist and singer Patti Smith's memoir Just Kids details her relationship with which artist and photographer who died in 1989? St Andrew's Leighton. Andy Warhol. No, one of you want to buzz from St John's? No, I'll tell you, it's Robert Mapplethorpe. Another starter question. In addition to carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, the pyrimidine-based ah. uracil... St John's Divine Stoneman. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is right. <laughs> Your bonuses are on 20th century history. For each question, I'll give you a line from Billy Joel's 1989 song, We Didn't Start the Fire. I want you to give me the precise year to which each line refers. Firstly, Bardo, Budapest, Alabama, Khrushchev. 1956. No, no, 56. yes, 56. 1956. Correct. Secondly, D&B and Foo falls and rock around the clock. 1954. Correct. Finally, Chubby Checker, Psycho, Belgians in the Congo. 1960. I think they were the year of independence. 1960. 1960. 1960's yeah. right. <laughs> Ten points for this. 
In Shakespeare's Henry VIII, which character does Cardinal Wolsey describe as a spleeny Lutheran and not wholesome to our cause? Sir Dadrings Grant. Thomas Cromwell. No, anyone want to buzz from St John's? It was Anne Boleyn. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. To the nearest whole number, what is the value in knots of a speed of one metre per second? St Andrew's Leighton. Two. Correct. <laughs> St Andrew's, your bonuses are on literary pseudonyms. Poor Richard or Richard Saunders were names used by which American writer, politician and scientist under which he produced his almanac from 1732... Benjamin Franklin. Correct. The novelist and critic George Orwell was born in 1903 in Bengal with what birth name and surname? Eric Blair. Correct. Born in 1931 in Dorset, David John Moore Cornwell is the half-brother of the actress Charlotte Cornwell and is better known as which author of genre fiction? Pass. Pass. It's John Le Carre. Ten points for this. Brass is an alloy principally composed of which two elements? St John's Divine Stoma. Copper and zinc. Copper and zinc is right. You get a set of bonuses <laughs> on the silly aisles. Only five of the 50 or so silly aisles are permanently inhabited. Name any two of the five. One is St Mary's and... Let's have them, please. Pass. It, uh, St Mary's is one, as you said. The others are Tresco, St Martin's, Brian and St Agnes. Secondly, the islands are one of the breeding grounds of a black and white bird belonging to the same family as the petrels and having the binomial puffiness puffiness. What is its two-word English name? Manx Shearwater. Correct. In St Mary's Old Town Churchyard, a headstone inscription reads Tempus Imperator Rerum, meaning time is the ruler of everything. It marks the grave of which public figure? Come on. Pass. It's Harold Wilson, the former Prime Minister. Ten points for this. Listen carefully. The constellation Crux, or Southern Cross, appears on the flags of five countries. Australia and New Zealand are two. Name two of the other three. St John's Hazel. Uh, Fiji and Vanuatu. Nope. One of you buzzed St Andrews. Come on, St Andrews time. Davies. Vanuatu and Kiribati. No, it's Brazil, Papua New Guinea or Samoa. Ten points for this. In oceanography, what five-letter term denotes an annular coral reef enclosing a central lagoon? St John's McEwen. Atoll. Atoll is right. You get a set of bonuses <laughs> on the works of... There you go. We'll be pleased to hear. Well, St Andrews, we're going to have to say goodbye to you, I think. You're up against very strong opposition tonight. St John's, many congratulations to you. That's a storming performance. We shall look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from St Andrews University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from St John's College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>